What is going on you guys? I hope you guys are having a great October. Welcome back to my Halloween review series that I'm going to be doing for the rest of this month. Today we're going to be talking about Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Now I know you guys are probably wondering, well how come Halloween 4 is not up here? It's because I don't own it and there's a reason for that. So if there's ever a Halloween film that I'm going to be reviewing that I don't own yet, there's either going to be a picture here or there's going to be the other Halloween films right here that I do own. So guys, let's get started with Halloween 4. This movie was directed by Dwight H. Little. It picks off, it picks up a couple of years after the events of Halloween 2 happened. So technically because of the failure that was Halloween 3 back in 1982, they decided to bring back Michael Myers once again for the fourth movie. But this time he's going after his young niece who I guess he wants to kill off his bloodline or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. But this one, um, Michael Myers survived the fire. If you guys have not seen Halloween 2, you know Michael Myers and um, Dr. Loomis both died in the in the hospital at the end of Halloween 2, but apparently this one makes it look like they both lived. So they both survived at the end of this movie, at the end of that movie. So Michael is now comatose. He's covered in bandages. He doesn't speak, doesn't even move. And then suddenly he has the urge to drive. He has the urge to go out and kill once again to try to find his young niece, played by Daniel Harris. Now, this film, I can understand why people like it, because this is kind of now a fan favorite among a lot of Halloween uh, fanatics, and I've seen this movie probably twice before, and I will say, this is my favorite of the so-called Thorn trilogy that they were going for with Halloween, because after Halloween 2, this one, Halloween's 4, 5, and 6 were the so-called Thorn trilogy, which have Daniel Harris playing the lead character, and Michael Myers is going after her, and then there's like a weird cult thing that's going on that's not really explored here in this film. It's not even brought up until the end of like the fifth movie or something like that, so I don't know. They didn't really fully utilize it very well. Um, but I can understand why people like it. So I will say that Donald Pleasance in this movie, him be being brought back after, you know, he thought everyone thought he died in the second movie, it was actually a breath of fresh air because I love Donald Pleasance as Dr. Loomis. He's a great actor, and I think that he pulled off this character very well. And he is a very good, um, his character is very well utilized in this movie. And it's actually the best we get of his character in this whole trilogy. Um, he's, he's not anywhere near as thrilling or as captivating as we got in the first Halloween movie. And in Halloween 2, he was mostly shouting like, I shot him six times, I shot him in the heart! We don't really get that here. So he's more calm, he's more toned down and um I will say that those are really some of my only issues with this movie some of my only positives I can give to this movie because this movie is not great by any means I don't hate it I don't it's definitely in the middle for me but it's not a great movie by any means there's a lot of issues I have with it particularly the first issue I had the first negative I had to give to this movie is the mask the Halloween mask in this movie it sucks like, the mask is the cheapest prop you can get for any Halloween movie. Yeah, it's... I mean, the mask is just so clean, and in the, the face look, it's like, it doesn't have any features on it. Like, if you remember from... Okay, take this mask, for example, in Halloween 2. You can see the cheek outline right here, and you can see some of the more facial features just a little bit. In this movie, it looks so clean, and it just looks like... Like, just one flat face... And you get the nose and the eyes and, you know, it just, it doesn't look great. Like, I think alone, if the mask was better, this movie would actually be a little bit higher on my list for Halloween films. But it's not. It's very bad. So that's one issue I have with it. There's even, um, I don't think that the entire thrilling aspect of the, of the entire town of Haddonfield going out and trying to kill Michael Myers was very thrilling or even very fun to watch. In this movie because it was just thrown in there very last second and it just did not work for me so I really had a lot of issues with that because it just it felt like they just forced it in and I know they're gonna be doing that again with Halloween kills which I'm gonna be seeing later tonight so I'm actually very excited to be watching that pretty soon but um, hopefully they do better with this move, hopefully they do better with Halloween Kills because here it just felt forced and it didn't feel like there was any build up to it. It just happens. But I will admit, Daniel Harris as a as a protagonist in this movie, she was actually very well. Like I actually liked her character in this movie and her performance was actually not that bad. 
Like, I, I give her props for taking on a role like this. And plus, you kind of see her as a broken character, and that's what I really like about this film, is that Michael Myers is just not going after some person. No, he's going after a little girl who actually is broken, because I think, um, like, her parents aren't that nice to her, and, you know, there's a little bit of a family trauma that she's had over the past couple of years of her life. So that's kind of the little thing we get about her in this movie. And that's really all I can say about this film because I kind of, I try, I kind of try to forget this movie because I'm not a big fan of this trilogy and particularly, but this one is my favorite of the trilogy, but I don't own it because I'm not a big fan of it. But guys, all in all, if you're ever in a Halloween mood and you want to check it out, I do recommend it because I don't think it's bad at all. So I'm actually going to give Halloween for The Return of Michael Myers a C+. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I look forward to my next review, which will be for Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. Looking forward to that. So guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you guys later.